Hi, welcome to an NACN guitar tutorial. I'm going to show you the chords of A minor and G. Firstly, the strings. These are numbered 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. And we'll be working with these frets. These are the spaces. And this is your 1st fret, your 2nd fret and your 3rd fret. And then the fingers. First, second, third, fourth, or I prefer index, middle, ring, and pinky, okay? So E minor, take your index, put it on the fifth string on this second fret. Then take your middle finger, and it goes in the fourth string at the same fret, okay? And that's a six string chord. So strike all six strings from here, you get a nice clear bright sound. Make sure as you strike the chord you need to press those guitar strings down. Don't press too tight but you need to put enough pressure on them. If you don't you'll get this sort of sound until you press hard enough. Okay I'll show you that with one string. If you're getting that sort of sound you need to put a wee bit more pressure on. Same for that one. And also make sure that you're only stopping those two strings and that your hand isn't falling onto these strings. Otherwise you'll get a, a bad contact and a bad sound, okay? So show you that again. E minor, index on the fifth string in the second fret, your middle finger on the fourth string just below that, and then strike all six strings. Now we're going to try G from there. And there's two ways of doing this. Just by moving your second finger or your middle finger up to here, onto the sixth string, the third fret, and then taking your ring finger and putting it on the first string of the third fret. So I'll show you that again. In e minor, take this finger, it's going up there, and at the same time, this ring finger goes on the same fret on the first string. Now if you find that too difficult, what you could do from the E minor is just take these two off and then put this one on and then put your index back where it was and then put your third finger, sorry, your middle finger onto the third fret of the sixth string. Okay, so two ways to do that. Put this one on first. And then practice that A minor to G over and over again. Now to go from the G to the A minor is slightly simpler. Because you're taking this one away and you just have to get this one down below your index. So watch that change. G, E minor. I watch what my index is doing as I make that change. It is moving, but it's not moving out of the fret. It's just sliding down to make room for this. Okay, so G, E minor. All six strings again for G. All six strings for E minor. And again, back to the G. You can either just move this up and this on if you can. Or, if you can't, put this one on first and then put your index back on the second fret and the fifth string and this one on here. 